From the CISO series, it's cybersecurity headlines. It's Thursday, October 22nd, 2020. DOJ official accuses China of protecting cyber criminals. John Demers, the Assistant Attorney General for National Security, says that China has created a safe haven for cyber criminals as long as they're also helping out the Chinese government. Demers also alleges that Chinese government sponsored espionage leverages front companies to hide its tracks. China's tactics are similar to those seen in Russia and Iran. Once again, Oracle releases enormous security update. For the second quarter in a row, Oracle patched more than 400 vulnerabilities across 29 product sets. Many of the vulnerabilities can be remotely exploited, and most of them are rated as critical, making it extremely important that organizations using Oracle technology apply the patches as soon as possible. NSA warns of top vulnerabilities exploited by China. A new report from the NSA warns organizations that it's time to patch up in order to slow China's cybercriminal role. The top 25 vulnerabilities to prevent Chinese state-sponsored hackers have patches, but organizations may not have yet applied them. Time to get on that. Threatening emails to voters included suspicious hacking video. Some Democratic voters in states, including Alaska, Arizona, and Florida, have received an email threatening them to change party affiliation and vote for Trump, quote, or else. The emails, which also allege to have hacked voter databases, were spoofed to appear to have come from the violent far-right group The Proud Boys. The group has denied any knowledge of the emails. And now, a word from our sponsor, Secure Layer 7. Continuous security is the need of a continuous online production environment and application. Secure Layer 7 is powered by BugDAS Penetration Testing as a Service Cloud Delivery Platform. BugDAS resolves all your traditional penetration testing challenges. With BugDAS, you can scale and manage your pen test program. On one click, schedule pen test, real-time vulnerability streaming, and speed up the fix process. Visit securelayer7.net. So what does the GRU indictment really mean? Despite the horrible real-world impact of Russian hacking since 2015, Monday's indictments are more show than substance. And worse, they communicate American weakness. That's Harvard Law Professor and Lawfare co-founder Jack Goldsmith's take on the Justice Department's charges against six officers in Russia's military intelligence agency. The DOJ, he says, is admitting its inability to stop Russian hacking. The police can break into your phone, probably. Law enforcement agencies can almost certainly access photos, videos, emails, and other data you've stored on your smartphone, says a new report. At least 2,000 law enforcement agencies in the United States have been empowered by hacking tools, legal disputes, and poor public understanding of how data is protected to search phones. Is TrickBot going down? The for-hire botnet that's been causing havoc across the internet since 2016 is dormant but far from dead, say experts following Microsoft's effort to disrupt TrickBot's servers. The challenge, they say, is an old one. As one network of servers goes down, TrickBot's masters are able to quickly spin up a new one. PayPal opens up to the other kind of crypto. PayPal will start letting its users keep Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies in its online wallet and use them for purchases at the more than 26 million merchants in its network. The feature is expected to roll out in the next few weeks, with some experts predicting that it will help normalize the use of cryptocurrency. Over on CISOseries.com, we just released the latest episode of Defense in Depth entitled Uncovering Leaked Secrets in Your Code, in which we talk about the common practice of leaving passwords and other credentials in plain text and source code, often in open code repositories. Many attack the problem with a Defense in Depth approach, 
but there is a more direct method of uncovering these leaked secrets in real time to teach developers how to produce more secure code. Listen to the episode on CISOseries.com or on your favorite podcast app. I'm Seth Rosenblatt, reporting for the CISO Series. Cybersecurity headlines are available every weekday. Head to CISOseries.com for the full stories behind the headlines. 